real quick is um we're going to go through a Dave Ramsey video because he does talk about, he didn't talk about the state of the union because frankly, he, he's so conservative and he doesn't like Biden. Um, and Biden nailed the state of the union. So that would just be embarrassing for him. But what he does talk about is they did the uh, secure act 2.0 or the secure 2.0 act is what it's called. Um, anyway, the deal about this was, this was, um, this was a bipartisan bill that passed, and it's changed a lot about how um, retirement savings and retirement accounts work. And we're going to go through some of this uh, together. Uh, we're probably going to, oddly enough, agree with Ramsey on a lot of this stuff for the first time in this show's history. Um, we're not going to totally agree, but we'll, we'll probably generally agree because this was a this is pretty good just in general for for the average person. So. In seconds, you'll know that you should never cap your retirement accounts for emergencies. Yeah, you should have an emergency fund, then leave your freaking retirement account alone oh. and let it grow and make you rich. Absolutely. All right. Dum, 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 dum. Here's an interesting one. Curious to get your take on this, Dave. Employers must automatically enroll you into a workplace retirement plan. This is nanny state stuff. Holding this your is, hand. Uh, this is a uh, we're going to take care of you because you're too stupid to take care of yourself idea. And so now when you join a company that has a 401k, the company is required to sign you up for the 401k automatically. At an automatic minimum contribution rate of 3%. And wow, I honestly, I thought I'd agree with him on more here. I think that's phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know the finer details of that. Like if somebody can go in and then dial their own thing back or something. Yeah, I, I imagine that you could go in after automatically enrolled and being like, I don't want that done and undo it. But I think what it is, is it's. I get into behavior a lot in, in the work that I do with clients, literally our financial behaviors and people tend to procrastinate and for various reasons, they just put off doing something being like, oh yeah, I think that I was eligible for that in November and here's July or whatever. And, and right. you could be putting something in and they were like, oh yeah, I got to take care of that. And then like September hits and they still didn't take care of that. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. Three percent is not much, but if if the protocol is, and when you're hired, they go, we will automatically be enrolling you after ninety days into this with a three percent contribution. Here, and what's even better, if they just little form to you and said, here, if you would like that to automatically be a higher amount, why don't you just jot that down here, sign, 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 and that's what's automatically going to happen, well, right? right? As opposed to waiting for people to go and log in and do the thing, it's just going to happen. Right. Well, that's just the thing is it's just right now, a lot of times though, he says nanny state and that kind of stuff. A lot of times those, you have the employer and they have it, but they don't really do anything with it. They don't tell their employees. They don't really inform them. They're not really set up for it. Right. Or like, or the yeah. guy explaining it to the employee, the employee comes in and it's, you know, they're 20. 25 and you're like yeah we have a 401k but they never explained to them how to sign up for it so that that is actually um a real experience that i have had so we had essentially what is like a 403b that was advertised to us that we could utilize being teachers have a pension you can also put money into this 403b mm -hmm. well a good couple of years into my teaching career I heard from a much older veteran teacher when I was scoring some exams, they were like, oh, well, I'm using the 401k. I'm like, oh, you mean the 403b, right? Like, no. Right. I was like, wait, what? It turned out that we had access sort of through a different avenue, but to a 457, both traditional and Roth, and a 401k, both traditional and Roth. Our 403b was only traditional. Oh, right. And all these teachers had no idea we had access to these other accounts. So I started doing a bunch of like free online workshops where yeah. the teachers like educate them about what this is and what they had access to it. And people were really excited, but then also simultaneously ticked off because no one was telling them they even had the option. But as opposed, you know? as opposed to if they had just been automatically signed up for it, they'd have found and out. automatically start getting statements for it. And they, they, their, next, their next paycheck, they're immediately going to see, hey, wait a minute. How much of this went to a 401k? I didn't do that. I want this money back. Then they could get their money back and shut it down. No problem. 
you're not required to stay in it. You're just, they're just the employer's required to make sure you have it. Right. 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 And I've done that before with businesses where they have to set up a 401k and none of their employees do it. And they're like, well, we can't understand why nobody does it. And I'm like, well, let me go talk to him. And I'll go talk to like one employee and be like, hey, did you sign up for the 401k? This is what it does. This is how it works. Yada, yada. Right. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, let's do it. And then within a day, everybody in the, in the company or the business is calling me going, hey, how do I sign up for the 401k? I want the matching. You got no shit you do. Right, right. <laughs> right. Because they didn't realize it was there. It wasn't made particularly easy for them to figure out how they could participate in it. Right. I mean, when you put too many obstacles in front of people, they don't know anything about it. And then you put all these different obstacles in front of them in order to even get signed up for it. People mm -hmm. go, I don't understand it or how to get into it. That's and right. With that. You right. Know? right. It's like if you don't know the pretty girl has a crush on you, then it doesn't occur to you to ask her out. <laughs> so I don't think it's an anti state or terrible. I think it's actually a great thing. It forces the employers to be a little bit more proactive about this shit. <laughs> and people aren't forced to stay in it if they don't want to. They no. can dial themselves out. No, as soon as they get their paycheck, they'll see it. And they can go, What's this? Well, I don't want to do that. You know, all right, fine. You know, up to you. No one's forcing anybody to do anything here, except for the employer to make sure that everybody has it. Which, you know, as an employer, you should fucking be on top of that shit anyway. So let's keep going real quick. If you don't want that to happen, you have to opt out, manually go in and opt out. You have to stop it from occurring. Um, <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> that's too much control. It's got good intent. Want everybody to have a retirement account. That's a good thing. Yes, you need to be in your 401k. But let's say you're working the baby steps, you would need to opt out because you're not doing 401k.